Hello, Karen Wolf in the art studio today. Uh, I am a painter and I teach adults and children how to paint and become better painters. Um, today I'm in the studio and I'm going to um, just paint this little cute um, bird and flowers. Uh, just something fun, just something different and um, thought I would uh, just come in here on this sunny afternoon and paint a just a little whimsical bird and flowers. So, I um, hope you guys will join me so, and, and enjoy it. All right, so here we go. We'll get started. Um, I, see, I've got my paint. I'm just using a, a plate of paint that I had. We, we had a, a painting party here in the art studio yesterday. And the color, I'm not gonna use all these colors on here. Um, I'll use the white, the yellow, um, probably a little bit of sienna. Um, I'll use blue, but I'm not going to use ultramarine blue. I'm going to use this, um, just this bright uh, primary blue that I have here. Um, probably a little bit of purple, green, and some red. And I don't have orange. Why do I always forget orange, guys? Let me grab some orange real quick. I have my painter. I have a paint over here a half a mile away. <clears throat> well, maybe not a half a mile from here, though. All right. Got my orange. I could mix orange and, or uh, I could mix red and uh, yellow for orange, but I'm just going to put some orange on there a little bit. All righty. Well, we'll get started. I'm going to paint the back ground in first, and I'm not going to do any stenciling or anything like that with this one. We're just, we're just going to have some painting fun. Just have a little bit of painting, painting fun today on this beautiful sunny day. Well, at least it is for now. If you guys are watching this on the replay, I don't know what time of day it is. So, just pulling off some paper towels there. I'm going to put my brush in some water and... Just drying it off with the paper towel. All right, and we'll go in with the background. I'm just gonna get a tiny bit of that blue. And this is gonna be a different color blue than that because I was at home a while ago when I painted this one. I just painted it, well, it's similar. I painted it before I came over here. So don't forget to paint your edge. Remember all that. So I'm just taking some blue and the, the, like I said, the blue that I'm using here, you can use whatever color blue you want. This is the blue that I chose to use. And it's, um, you, it's similar to like a cerulean blue. Uh, it's a primary blue is what that color is. And I'm just painting the blue, blue sky in and, add, and I'm holding that canvas cause it's so tiny. Oh, I dropped it. I dropped it. So, but we're getting closer and closer. <laughs> day by day and hour by hour, we're getting closer to spring, guys. I'm just not a winter fan. Just not a winter fan. I don't know. I'm just not. So, um, I like spring and um, summer. I like fall some, um, but I just not a big fan of cold weather. Not a big fan of cold weather. So I'm just painting down to the the horizon there. If you guys can see that, I think so. Move that over a little bit. And you can wait to the end to paint that edge if you want to. Um, but it's, if you paint it as you're going along, it, um, it's easier to match your color up to the edge. <clears throat> because whatever color you're painting over here, you pull over and paint on the side. But me, 
I am really, really, really bad about not painting my edges. So I've been trying to get into the habit of doing it as I go. Cause I'll have, I sell these paintings and the instructional paintings and I'll have a live sale and I'll have to get ready for the live sale. And I'm back there just painting away or not back there, I'm up here painting away, painting my edges, and that just drives me insane. Okay, so I'm just painting down. Acrylic paint dries two to three shades darker, so if you think it's not dark enough, it is, but if you, you know, if you wanna put some more blue in uh, the middle there, and you don't want it to be so um, light as it comes down, you do get lighter as you come down, but if you think that it got too light, you can put in a, a little bit of color back in. But you want it to be lighter as it goes down to the, the bottom. Okay? There. All right. So I'm going to just clean my brush. I really didn't have to clean my brush because I could have gone right into that green with that paint on my brush. And it wouldn't matter one single bit. So... But I did. I cleaned my brush. All right. Now I'm just gonna dry my hair. Dry my hair. Dry my. Dry my brush. <laughs> no, not dry my hair. Dry my brush really good with uh, squeeze water out of it. Then I'm gonna go down here to the bottom, and I'm gonna add a little bit of green. Just this green color that I'm using. It's just a. Um, not sure what color that green is out of that pump back there. It's just a green color. It's not really hooker's green. It's just a soft. Soft uh, hunter green color is what it looks like, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure what the color is. But any green will work that you have. And I just took my green and just added a little bit of white to my brush just to lighten and opaque the green a little bit. And then brushed it in. And I want it to be a little bit... Um, I want it to just kind of blend in there with the top, the blue and the, so I'm gonna clean my brush. I don't want it to be like a big line right there. That's up to you, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna clean that a little bit with my brush. Get that just so it blends in up there at the top. And I'm gonna take a little bit of darker and come down here where the this stuff's gonna happen. Just a little darker. All right, no big deal. Just a blue background to sky and the uh, grass. All right, so all that's wet. This is a little tiny canvas, so I'm gonna have to dry this real quick with a hairdryer. So, you all like spring paintings, like uh, ready for some spring colors, or are you all still in for winter? Are you all ready for some sunshine and warm temperatures? I am. We And we really just started in the winter. We haven't had much winter. I shouldn't even complain. But there are those of us who like winter, and there are those of us who like spring and summer. And I'm, I'm a spring and summer girl. All right. So we've got that in. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to freehand this in, just go for it, and I'm not going to worry too much about um, the shapes. So I'm going to go in with my green and my blue, making a dark green color with a half inch flat, that's what I'm using here. And I'm gonna go 
Let's see, I'm gonna go this high up here with this flower. I may put three flowers in on, no, I don't think so. I'm just gonna put three flowers in on, well, look at me. I can show you how to fix that. I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing and I made it big, <laughs> too big. And I'm gonna go here with this one. Okay, so I made that one a little bit too big. I don't want that to be that big. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna just kinda clean that a little bit. And I, all I did was I took my brush, rinsed it in the, the water, and um, taking that down the side of there just to clean that off. And since the paint underneath was cured and dried, it uh, it doesn't take the bottom layer off, okay? So there we've got that one. Then I'm gonna go over on the other side, taking that same green color, and I'm gonna make a little flower over here. Oh, I did it again. It's my brush. It's split get a chisel edge on it to make the edge stay like that right there. It doesn't do that, but I wasn't getting it chiseled enough and when it went down it. And for some reason, I'm all like shaky today. I don't usually do that. I'll show you all the wrong things to do, dear to your canvas today. <laughs> That's funny. That's not very funny. I don't want to show you the wrong thing to do, but, but uh, y'all like to paint? Do you like to paint? This is acrylic. This is, um, I'm painting in acrylic, and um, like I said, the paints that I'm using here today are just a, a student grade paint that I get from Dick Flick. And you can use whatever you want to to paint this with. You don't have to paint anything with anything fancy or anything. But sometimes in here I'll paint with the Liquitex Basics and sometimes I'll paint with this. And today this is what I'm painting with. And I'm gonna make me a little bird down here. I'm gonna outline the bird. I'm gonna use that same half inch flat to outline the bird. And I'm gonna just get some orange on my brush. And I'm gonna make my bird short this time. I've got him tall. I think I'm gonna see what he looks like short. I'm a shorty, so I'm gonna make me a short bird. So I'm just gonna make me a little, in between my flowers, I'm gonna make a little, and I may like the tall one better, but I just, I was curious to know after I did that, what the shorter bird would look like. So now you're gonna know. And he's kind of looking up over here. He's Kind of looking up, I think. So I'm gonna make his body kind of go up a little bit if I can. So all I'm doing is painting in some orange in like a little, I don't know, almost the shape of an egg. <clears throat> kind of, sorta. And then it goes out on the end over here with a little tail. And then um, he has his beak and his legs. It kind of looks like a fish right now, doesn't it? <laughs> kind of looks like a fish at this very moment. But I've been putting a lot of my videos, um, I've got a lot of videos here on, on Facebook, on my Art by Caramel Facebook page. And I've also got, um, I have a website and I've, I have videos on there, artbycaramel.com. So if you're interested in um, painting with me online, I do have a lot of videos on my um, artbycaramel.com. And I've, um, recently I'm on, um, YouTube. So I'm trying to put some of my videos that I have on Facebook onto YouTube so that those folks who don't um, have Facebook can watch me on YouTube. All right. So I'm going to go in with some yellow and sienna and I'm going to make a just a little circle here. 
here and here just for the top of my center for my flower and these these colors want need some encouragement acrylic paint dries two to three shades darker guys so always keep that in mind when you're painting with acrylic it'll dry um, darker so um, when you're painting just make sure you know you keep the, you remember that because um, you might think something's not um, dark enough you know you'll be painting and you'll think oh that's not dark enough um, but it is it's definitely you know it, it probably is you know I'm not saying it sure without a shadow of a doubt it is but I'm so usually it is so I'm on that I'm gonna take some sienna and I'm just gonna go in and touch the shadow side of those circles And I'm gonna make some um, petals. So I'm gonna go in with the white to get a base for these uh, colors. I'm gonna do yellow and white. We'll go into yellow. I'm using my um, number four um, round. And I'm just gonna go in and make some petals. I just went into the yellow and the white because I, I want to opaque that a little bit so that it won't be um, so it won't be showing the background through. Um, these colors are uh, very transparent because they're student grade um, paints, and they uh, they require a little bit of help to get coverage either you do more coats or you know you can do opaque it a little bit with the white first and then go back and paint over it with the pure color and that way it'll it'll be darker and then this one I just went into the white and then I went into the red <clears throat> to do this I loaded some really cool videos uh, lately on both uh, here on this Facebook and on um, I did some lives and then I uploaded them to YouTube but the um, I did one on uh, painting a board the other night a real long board or no, it wasn't a board it can't be a board you can make it into a porch leaner uh, if you'd like you could do that and it'd be really cool um, you know the boards that you see out on people's porches that you know they lean up and they say whatever they have pictures on them and stuff like that um, but you could do that and um, I'll rinse that brush but it's a long tall canvas is what I painted one I've had it downstairs forever and um, I painted a snowman on it It was really cute and then I had a, a shared y'all should have to watch that one you have to watch you have to watch all of my videos <laughs> You need to watch all of my videos. Um, the um, oh, I lost my train of thought. Um, there was a brush video that I loaded. Uh, I just turned my sound thing on. I hope you guys have been able to hear me up to this point. If not, I apologize. Um, I, I was getting ready to turn that on earlier, and I got distracted. Um, but I had. Um, uploaded a really cool brush cleaning video. Um, I don't made that one out too far. I don't like that. Um, I made a really cool brush cleaning video, and this will show you how you can just get rid of this. I, I don't like the way that that's sticking out real far like that, so I'll just go into the water with it a little bit. You can do this with a like a damp paper towel, as long as the color underneath is dry. I'm just rinsing it in the water and then cleaning this off. Um, but the brush cleaning video is using um, Bristle Magic. I don't know if you guys have ever done this before, but if you, um, you ever like painting and then you um, are painting with acrylic and you um, leave your brush, um, 
the paint in your brush, you, for, you forget to wash them, clean them, and there they are laying with the paint and dried in them, and then you go back to use them, and they're hard as a rock. Well, I, I do that from time to time, not purposely, of course, but, you know, you forget. You leave there, and you go off, do something, and then you forget your brushes are laying there. And um, I'm just going into the purple and the white, still with this number four round. And uh, I come back to it, and I go on my brushes are all hard as a rock, hard as a rock. Well, most of the time, you know, you think, oh, shoot, now I've, wasted, I've ruined my brushes. I'll throw those away and buy new ones. Uh, or hopefully you have new ones. But, no, you don't have to do that. You do not have to uh, throw your brushes away. There's um, a video I've got. It's on my Facebook page. and uh, It's also, like I said, it's out on my Art by Karen Wolf um, YouTube. And you... I'm going to switch to the half-inch brush for my orange. Darken this little guy down here a little bit more. Um, but it shows you how if you uh, put your brushes in that um, and soak them in there, depending on how much paint's hardened in that brush, uh, if you put it in there and soak it for a few days, um, it it comes out, and that, that paint, you just clean it in. I use... Uh, Fels naphtha soap. Uh, you clean it in that or your brush soap, whatever you use, but I use Fels naphtha soap to clean my brushes with. And um, that, it's it's inexpensive and you can get it, it's like a laundry soap, Fels naphtha. You can get it at Walmart or Kroger's or wherever. Um, I think you can even order that from Amazon. But I just went over my, my bird to darken it a little bit. Um, then I'm gonna go back in and darken these um, or paint over these stems again, I think, a little bit with the green and the blue um, just to, to darken them a little bit. And I'm just chiseling the edge of my half inch flat, making my, my brush at a, a chisel edge there. And then I'm um, just going down there. Um, but you put your brushes in there, you soak it in there for, you know, sometimes it takes a week if they're real rock hard and, and the, you know, you got a good bit of paint in there, but sometimes, you know, it's just um, a couple days, you soak them in there, the little brushes, and then you clean them with your brush soap, and I demonstrate that in the video and everything, and I'm telling you what, that stuff is magic. It takes every bit of that paint out of that brush, and, it, and when you're done, it is, as, it's as good as new. It is as good as new. It's the craziest thing I ever saw in my life. But, uh, I can't remember who told me about that. Um, but I'm glad they did because I order it from, um, uh, Amazon.com and, um, I couldn't live without it. I have used that stuff so much. I have, um, I think I've gone through, uh, Two big bottles of that stuff. Okay, so I don't know why I'm using the liner because I meant to pick up the number four round. And I'm like wondering why that's not working. Because I'm trying to walk talk and chew gum at the same time. <laughs> Telling you a story. But that's real important. As a painter, um, you need those kind of little tr tricks and tips because it saves you having to go out and buy new brushes. So I'm just pushing down on that, and then as I come in, I lift up to make it smaller. Um, up here, I'm gonna get down a little bit, push down, and then lift up as you come in, and then it makes it smaller. And then I just turned, it, turned on that one a little bit. And then I, I don't like that because it got a little bit fat, so I'm gonna fix that a little bit. Um, Acrylic paint's pretty forgiving. I mean, it'll it'll allow you to to work with it a good bit to get things. You know, if you do something you don't like it, um, you can you could fix it. You can fix it. All right. So we've got that in there. The um, um, leaves of the stems. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to put just a little, 
I think I actually did that with a script liner, but I just want to put a just some indications of some grasses down here. Less is more usually. And I'm going to go up and paint in my um, colors on my flowers. Get these in here. <clears throat> I've got a lot of really cool ideas coming up. Um, I almost went over there and painted that. Good grief. Um, go a little bit yellow on this one. A little bit of yellow on this side. Add a little bit of white to that yellow and do the tops of those so it'll give it more color. And opaque that a little bit. And then I'm gonna go into the red. Darken that a little bit, and I don't know why. I didn't like my yellow, but we'll do that in a minute. So I'm gonna go in here with pure, pure red. Just coloring in those. This is just a fun little, um, this is like how I did like the kids. And this reminds me of the little bird house thing that we did for the kids. But things like this, you can do these and then like, um, you know, you can always like paint this like, you know, on a little slate or something and you can like write something on it or whatever. Um, then I'm gonna take that red while I have that red on my brush and I'm gonna go in here and make a little indication of a wing. And then I'm gonna go a little bit darker in the bottom. Do a little bit of red on the bottom of that tail feathers and the bottom of the bird. Maybe a little bit on his backside there. Oh. <coughs> You're definitely going to know how to fix stuff by the time I get done with this one today. Oh, shoot. But I have a lot of stuff going on, a lot of paintings I'm getting ready to do. I was in downstairs in my art studio this morning. I was um, drawing some things, sketching some things out. Pretty exciting. I love to, I just love to paint. I just, and for some reason, uh, here lately, I've just, I'm, I just took some green and went into the white and just got light in this side here with some green and white. And if you want, you could take this color and go into the white, your green and blue color that you mixed. You can go into that color and go into the white and lighten it up on that side with that color if you want. Doesn't matter, just as long as it's a lighter, lighter green. Um... But I love to paint, and I I used to have um, a hard time coming up with ideas. Well, I still have a hard time coming up with ideas. But uh, lately, it just seems like once I get going with it, I've, I've started doing something that really helps me a lot, is a habit of sketching things out uh, before I even go downstairs in my art studio uh, at home is where I usually paint these is at home sometimes I come over here in the art studio here in town um, and do them where I have my painting parties uh, in Ripley. But um, I'll, I'll sketch, I've been starting to sketch them out uh, ahead of time. I've got my sketchbooks out, I've got sketchbooks everywhere. And I mean, I've had them and used to, used to use them some when we'd go on trips and things, but was never really much into drawing a lot. I just draw with my paintbrush when I'm getting ready to paint something and I wouldn't really sketch anything out. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna put in a leg. I'm just gonna make uh, a leg going down there and then a leg going down there. Keep them pretty close together and then he has a little, two little things coming up in the front and then one going back in the back. 
so I, lately I've been, if I think of an idea, I'll um, sketch it out and um, get a whole bunch of them in my sketchbook. I think I've showed you all my sketchbook on here a couple times and I don't have black. Dang it. Um, I'm just gonna make a dark color. I'm gonna mix ultramarine blue and brown and make a black color, maybe a little bit of purple. Um, but it really helps me because it used to be I would go downstairs and I'd stand there in front of my easel and I'd think, okay, what am I going to paint today? Or in my head during the day, I would think of ideas, well, what am I going to paint today? You know, whatever. And uh, so now where I have all those things sketched out ahead of time in, in my notepad, or not my notepad, good grief, have all that stuff sketched out ahead of time in my sketchbook, Oh my gosh, it is like difference of night and day. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of orange and yellow for the beak. Uh, that one I did not, I didn't mix orange and yellow. I actually had a little bit of dark color on my brush and uh, got that in there. But this one's gonna be orange and yellow for the beak. And then I'm gonna go back over here and I'm gonna take some white and I'm gonna highlight my white side of my flower there. I'm gonna take light and, well, not blue. Now I got blue in my brush. Evidently there's blue contamination in that white. I'm gonna put a little highlight there, a little highlight there. Oh. Why do I keep doing that? Y'all notice me doing that? <laughs> I keep wanting to go over and paint on my sample painting. Oh, crazy me. Uh, and I meant to do this earlier and I forgot. I'm going to go into the red and the pink and I'm going to lighten this side of the red flower. And I'm going to leave the other side dark. I thought I did that with the white, but it doesn't look like I did. <clears throat> the white looks real, uh, doesn't look very bright. I'm gonna paint that in a little bit darker. Your paint may be darker than mine, but mine didn't paint that very bright. So I'm gonna go back in again with that. And then on that side, I'm gonna take the white and the yellow And I'm going to go into the purple. Sometimes it's just layers. Layer, 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 layer. Just keep painting. Just keep on. Just keep on keeping on like Joe Dirt says. And that uh, purple sometimes needs some encouragement. So go into the purple and I added some white to it. It's still darker, but I had to add some white to it because purple is real transparent and it takes a lot to cover with purple. Then I'm gonna go into the white and make a light side to my purple flower. <coughs> There. And I'm gonna lighten them. Light, light, light. Light, light, light. Light. Oh. And lighten this one. on my leaves a little bit and that might be a little bit much light good grief I'm just going back over my screen it was a little bit much wasn't it okay then I want to work on my bird a little bit I'm gonna do a little bit of you like the short bird or the tall bird hey Kelly thank you thank you very much 
You like the tall bird or the short bird? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm leaning more towards the short bird. <laughs> Maybe that's because I'm a short bird. <laughs> you think? Oh, I don't know. He's cute, though. He or she or whatever. So I'm going in here, and I'm just going to lighten this top of this bird up a little bit. I'm taking a little bit of yellow and orange, and I'm just making a little bit of light up here on the top of the bird. I'll put a little bit of light in its wing. I'll put a little bit of light over here. And gosh, my voice went squeak. Did you hear that? And that. And then I'm gonna go into the yellow, do some bright yellow on its beak. Dang, so tiny. And put a little bit more dark. A little bit more color on its legs, maybe. And then I'm going to add a little bit of white to my yellow and my orange. And I'm going to put just a little, some little highlight things there. Just to make it brighter. Oh, I keep digging into that center there where there was other color and it, now it's into the green. So I have to mix some over here a little bit. That's what I get for using a plate from yesterday. All right, then I'm going to, let's see, I've got that, that, got the, and then I'm gonna shadowish uh, around underneath of the, um, bird. I'm going to take some of the darker, um, darker blue and green. I'm just going to go under the bird a little bit here, just so he doesn't look like he's floating in the midair. Because I don't want him to, to do that. And you can add a little bit of purple to that just for a shadow color if you want. Purple's a good color. It's good to add purple to your paintings. Okay, do I have everything? Do I have any? Nope, I need to do his eye. I need to do that eye. And... I think that's it. I think I've got everything else in there. But I thought this would be a cute little fun painting to do today. I enjoyed it. Did you all enjoy it? I sure did. It's fun to um, sometimes just to paint things that are simple and not... Um, paint everything, you know, paint things that are hard all the time. I mean, it's really good to challenge yourself. Uh, don't get me wrong. I mean, I do it a lot, and I encourage you all to do it, definitely. This is so small, I can't even see it. I'm seeing double. shoo wee am I ever. That's, like, so tiny. Um, I got contacts for one for far away and one for close up, and when I get that tiny, man, it all runs together. Whew. All right. And I didn't sign my one at home, so I'm going to sign these both together, I think. But you can paint this on a bigger canvas. This is on an 8 by 10 canvas. I should have told you that a long time ago. Um, this is on an 8 by 10 canvas. And um, use acrylic paint and... Uh, like I said, I just thought this idea out and uh, wanted to do something that wasn't wintry uh, today uh, just because it's the sun shining and it's a beautiful day. It was beautiful yesterday and uh, it's still, it's beautiful again out there today. So um, I, I thought we all needed a little, little paint and therapy. That's what I say. Painting is therapy. 
and I do believe it. I don't know what I would do without it. I, it has really helped me through all this stuff that's going on in our world, and um, I enjoy painting with you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy painting, and that you, you know, stop and take time to do something for yourself and relax and, and have fun, because it helps. It does. It takes you away, takes your mind off of things for a while. All right. I think I like the short bird. I like the tall one too. But I think I like the short bird. You all have to let me know. <laughs> oh, shoot. All righty. Well, I appreciate you guys more than you know. And um, I'm, I'm thankful for you and glad that you you take out time during your day to, to uh, stop and watch me paint. So, uh, give me some of those... Uh, likes if you like it and sprinkle the love and let your friends know and um get the word out because that's how um i can keep this stuff going on um i know it's uh it's a crazy crazy time and i think this will this will help like i said the therapy of painting is a wonderful uh it's a wonderful thing so take advantage of it uh, you all have a good day. Love you guys. God bless you and take care. And I hope to, I'll see you back on here again real soon. Bye-bye.